Hedgecock. Yeah, received. Anything? Not a thing. One said they heard it, but by the time they looked, there was no one there. Kids, probably. What happens now? Oh, the owner's on his way. Just have to wait. Nice, isn't it? Not to 60 in just under six seconds. Did you back to on yourself, Luke? Couldn't even afford the tyres. Thank God for that. Maybe one day. Right, for us, Kate. Found this on the seat. Will you use that for brake and steering lock? Yeah, well, it's got one good print anyway. I'll get you posted. Thanks. Right, the uh, unhappy man. Is your car, Mr. Hedgecock? It's absolutely charming, this is, isn't it, eh? I left it for about half an hour. Where was that? On the Maycroft estate. My aunt lives there. It's her birthday. What happens now? Well, if you don't have a garage, we can have it moved for you. All right, if I'll take my things out. Yeah, yeah sure, we've finished, thanks. What time did you leave the car? One quarter past. Did you see anyone around? No. Well, there was a load of kids. Kids? Yeah, you know, kids. How old? I don't know, 14, 16. One had fair hour, remember that. I didn't really pay them that much attention. Is there anything missing? Only my no claims bonus. Well, if that's it, we'll look you to it. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm meant to be in Manchester at six. Hello, Dylan. Yeah, phone Not much to go on, is it? Oh, no, but I reckon I know it might be. Certainly the slide hammer fits his MO. Who's that? A little scrote called Martin Wyatt. There he is. And his gang. Turner, Hempstead. They used to nick cars just for kicks. But only the good ones, you know, the fast flash ones. Martin seems to have been chief driver. Bit of a local hero. We caught him doing handbrake turns and all that sort of stuff up around the industrial estate. He's in and out and nick like a yo-yo. 62 TRCs. So how come he's out now? Well, the last time we had him, instead of giving him detention, they sent him on one of those, you know, uh, motor projects where they do up old bangers and race them. Oh, right. You know about him, do you? Yeah, it's a soft option, isn't it? Can I ask why you're telling us this? Well, well given the choice between that and prison, I know which one I'd choose. Yeah, you may be right. He's kept his nose clean for the past three months, before at least. Oh, we haven't caught him. Yeah. Hello? Hello. That is gone. You're dealing with that car, aren't you? Porsche. Yeah, Nick from the Maycroft estate about one o'clock. Yeah, that's it. This bloke said he saw it. I won't give his name, but said he was sick of all the crime on the estate. What did he see? He said he saw Martin Wyatt break in and drive it away. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. Early warning system. Don't like uniforms here. Hey! That's Pete Fletcher, project leader. Right, Pete. Gents, what can I do for you? We're looking for Martin Wyatt. He's not here. And I wish you lot would stop harassing him. We're not harassing him. Every time something happens, it's round up the usual suspects. Well, that's because the usual suspects have usually done it. <laughs> it's about that car, isn't it, this afternoon? Do you know about it? Enough to know it wasn't Martin. And why's that? I'll show you. See these? When these lads first come here, they spend a couple of weeks helping out on somebody else's car. If they're keeping out of trouble, get one like this to work on for themselves. And that's supposed to stop them making cars? It helps. Gives them an outlet. But the real carrot is the race. And Martin's got his first one next week. Mind your fingers. This one's this. The race is what keeps them up, you see. They have to wait at least three months and keep their nose clean. And Martin has? Yeah. He's done it all himself, look. He wouldn't chuck it away now. Has he been in today? Yeah, all day. Apart from an hour over lunch. And when was that? Half twelve, one. Do you know where he is now? Well, gone home, I think. Help his mum with her shopping. Right, thanks. Hello, it's Martin, eh? That is mum. Gone shopping. With Martin's brother, right? What's your name? Nathan. So what do you want? Don't start, Martin. I'm not. Well, ask me a few questions if you don't mind. No, I'm busy. Come on, Nathan, inside. Hang on, where are you going? I told you I've got things to do. Well, they can wait. No, they can't. You are right, Martin. Give us the bags. All right, what am I supposed to have done? Car was taken today. Porsche. Well, it's nothing to do with me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they friends of yours. Oh, look, I've got to go. Hang on. What are you doing? All right, that's the way you want it. Better get his mum, yeah? So, you went for lunch at one o'clock. This is a waste of time. Come on, Martin. All right. I had a sandwich, peanut butter and strawberry jam, and a cup of tea. Then I went straight back down the project. So, you'd have been in the area around about the time the car was stolen? If you say so. 
Did you see the car parked on the estate? No. Did you talk to anyone? No. Come on, Martin, you better face it. You're in trouble here. No, I'm not. I never saw it and I never touched it. Well, we've had information to say different. Well, what information? That you broke into the car. Well, whoever gave you your information is lying because I don't nick cars anymore. He's telling the truth, you know. Is he? Just giving it up, have you? Well, if you like. Like oh, the old gang. See much of them? No, not anymore. This is all a bit sudden, isn't it? Look, I've started at the project now. You can ask Pete, the bloke who runs it. We have. Well, he'd have told you that I've been there three months and I've got a race coming up soon. I'm not just going to nick a car now, am I? I'm not that thick. You used to use a slide hammer, break the steering lock, didn't you? Yeah, so? We found one in the car. It's being examined now. You're trying to tell us it's just a coincidence. Martin's just gone to the toilet. You can go home soon. Didn't do it, you know. Why'd you say that? Couldn't. Well, he's done it enough in the past. The last car he nicked, he went to court for. He crashed it. And what happened? The doctor called it post-traumatic stress. I'd be asleep and in the middle of the night I'd hear this screaming. I was having nightmares every night, twice sometimes. He'd wake up covered in sweat and crying his eyes out. Him crying? You all think he's some tough little villain, but he's not. He's just a kid who lost his dad and then scared himself stupid. And now he's doing his best and you know what? I'm proud of him. But I just wish you'd leave us alone. Well, what about the gang? Does he see them anymore? The only one I can remember is Mick Hempstead. Martin never mentions him. Or any of the others. OK, he's free to go. We will need to speak to him again, though. Oh, I can't wait. So what next, then, in your humble opinion? Well, she mentioned a bloke called Mick Hempstead. Yeah, he's one of the names on the computer. Pay him a visit. That's it. Nice one. Afternoon, Lex. Oh, that's for psychic. Mick Hempstead. I knew you were going to say that. We want a word. Can we step inside? I was just going out. It'll take a minute. <sighs> Sorry, lads. Yeah, don't be too long. It'll be as long as we like. Ooh. Making some inquiries about a stolen Porsche. Very nice car. Know anything about that, do you? No. Who is it? No one! <laughs> Where was you between 1 and 1.30 today? Been here all day. Can ask my dad if you like. Now that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm like a vampire, me. I don't come out till night time. <laughs> Tempted? Have a word. You're young Mick. Is he at home between 1 and 1.30? See much of Martin White these days? <laughs> What you two were mates? Him, you're joking. He's washed up round here. No one will talk to him. Why is that? Why don't you go and ask him? We have. And what did he say? So Martin's not in this little gang of yours anymore. <laughs> what gang? Come on, it's getting cold out here. <laughs> is it alright if I go now? Yeah, that's it for now, thanks. Are you gonna lock him up then? I see you on youth training scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him get to you, Luke. I'm not. What for Dax back and all that? Were you ever in a game? Boy Scouts. It was everything. You and your mates against the world. Like a marriage almost. And then it breaks up. It's all jealousies. Setting old scores, getting even. So what are you getting at? Oh, him and Martin. Hempstead hates his guts, doesn't he? I've learned from Sierra Oscar. Receiving. Tony, DSE's on the line, wants to give her a ring. Could you talk to her for a steps? A bit tucked up at the moment. Cost you a pint. Sierra Oscar from 432. Go ahead, Luke. Debbie, that phone call we had this afternoon, can you describe his voice? Well, he was quite young, I reckon. And probably from round here, that's all I can say. Received. Do you think Hempstead made that anonymous phone call? What, do you think he nicked the car? Well, he fits the owner's description just as well as Martin does. Discount his alibi. I reckon his father say anything. Well, if they knocked around together, they'd use the same MO, wouldn't they? 432 from Sierra Oscar. Read the DSC. She says that print on the slide hammer belongs to Martin Wyatt. Over. Received. Here we go pick him up.
Well, that was quick. I only just called you lot. What's happened? Number 38, brick through the window. Lady got hit, she's cut from the glass. Is she all right? No, she's cut pretty bad. We'll have to take her in. I'll have a look inside. Oh. Mrs. White, you see who did it? No. Nathan, what about you? What's this all about then? I don't know. Junkies, probably. What are you doing here anyway? No one called you. I'm arresting you for vehicle theft. What, you're having a laugh, ain't ya? You? you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence yeah. if you do not mention what, what you're taking me in which now? you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. What, you're taking me in now? You can go to the hospital later, OK? What, can I just get my coat first, then? Go on, then. What about me? You better go to the hospital, your mum. St Hughes, is it? Yeah. All right. Where's Barty? Oh, he's uh, just gone to get his coat. Brilliant. I've got Pete Fletcher from the Motor Project on the line. It's about Martin Wyatt. He's just been there. Thanks, Debbie. We'll be there in five minutes. Over. Oh, good. What is it? Yeah, give us a minute. It's Martin. Is he in some trouble? Could say that. He came in a few minutes ago. I didn't say a word to anyone. And then he just walked off again. Any idea where he was going? No. Something's going on, though. He took a spanner like this. It's missing from his tools. It was there when he came in. He's gone looking for Hempstead. Down there, Tone. Not interrupted anything, are we? Don't bother. Hold on. Just having a laugh. Talking about car maintenance. Won't be Martin. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Martin, let's go. Oh, look. He wants his daddy. <laughs> Don't forget, Martin. You shut your mouth. Oh, look at the pig. He's scared stiff. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. This is what we found, really. Don't need your help. Yeah, it looked like it. Can't tackle him single-handed, you know. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Because he's underage, we need an yeah, appropriate adult. Yeah, I know. I didn't realise you were going to nick him. But his prints are on the slide hammer. What? Yeah, which means if he didn't do it, and I believe it, he knows you did. Do you know anything about this gang? They're a bunch of idiots. They used to hang around the gates when Martin first started. Do you think it's possible they're trying to scare him back in? I've seen it before, yeah. All right, we're all ready. Martin? Get in there. Sit down. This is a recorded interview with... Look, I wanted to say something. Say your name. Martin Wyatt. Look, I just want to say Save something. Save it. PC Aston Sunhill. PC Tony Stack Sunhill. Also present is... Pete Fletcher, appropriate adult. Look, before we go any further, I've got something you to say. Down. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything me. you do say may be given in evidence. I did it, all right? I'm admitting it. I'm putting my hands up. I nicked it. Oh, don't be stupid. Nick what exactly? What do you think? The car? In your lunch break? Pete, please, will you sit down? You also have the right to a solicitor. Will you switch him off, please? So where was this car when you nicked it? On the estate. I was going back to the project when I saw it. I just couldn't resist it. And then what? Got the door open, I got in. I don't believe this. Pete, please, which door? 
The driver's side. I broke the window. And then what did you do? I broke the steering lock. How exactly? The slide hammer. And where did you get that? Project. So you broke the steering lock and then what did you do? No, I mobilised so I just wired it up and went. Martin, have you gone soft in the head? Mr Fletcher, please. Describe the car. Red Porsche, 911 Carrera, uh, 3.6 litre, flat six engine, 310 brake horsepower, low profile tyres, alloy wheels, <laughs> oh, and a scratch on the bonnet. And where did you drive it to? You know, the industrial estate, Canley Road. Who was with you? Nobody. I crashed it, left it there and went back to the project. And where'd you crash it exactly? I can't remember. Well, what was it near? You must have seen something. Look, I told you, I can't remember. But all you can remember is getting out of the car and walking back to the project. Look, I've told you what happened. Martin, you're giving up everything. I know what I'm doing. Martin, when we picked you up earlier on today, you denied any involvement. You said you didn't nick cars anymore. And then we found your prints all over the slide hammer. We went round to your flat and discovered that somebody's tucked a brick through your window. You then decided to go for a runner. Grab the spanner and go and have a nice little chat with your old friend Hempstead and the gang. And then you decided that you did nick the car after all. Now that's a bit funny, isn't it? I told you what happened. Did Hempstead make a threat against you? Look, I've said everything I'm going to say. Are you going to charge me? OK. Interview terminated. 1903. Tony, do you mind if I try something? Oh, Mum. Look at your face. Thank you. This is a waste of time. If Martin wants to confess, then that's up to him. It's not our problem. Well, it will be when the CPS get hold of it. It's not going to stand up in court, is it? Let me have a word of him. He's halfway there. You all right? Hello. How are you feeling, Mrs White? said it should be all right once it's all healed up. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The doctor can see you again. Boys? See you later, Mum. Behave. We haven't finished yet. Ah, uh, come on, Nathan. Let's go get a drink. Oh, you want me to grow some up, don't you? I can't stand blokes like him, Steve. We had one at school. Look, you don't know what he's like. Me and him were best mates. Blood brothers. Um, I just thought we'd be able to sort it out. I thought we'd understand. Listen to me, Martin. The only way to get him off your back is to give us what we need to put him away. No, I'm not going to grass him up. It goes against everything. He made an anonymous phone call, you know, putting you in the frame. What? Yeah, blood brothers. The first concern you've got now is for your real family, isn't it? With your dad gone and everything. And you know that. And that's why you picked up the spanner, isn't it? I don't blame you. You, you know, it took guts. But you can't tackle him alone. They said they were going to talk to the flat, you know. About the lockups. Yeah. And they said they were going to get Nathan. Look, I don't want that kid involved. And that's why you made the confession. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Ever since I started at the project, it's been nothing but trouble. They used to wait for me at the gates. Just taking the mick at first, and I could handle that. But then they started shouting and throwing stones, and... They followed me around, you know? They just don't seem to understand that it's over. What happened at the car mine? Well, I was walking back, and uh, he came up to me. Hempstead? Yeah. And I thought, at last, he's being friendly, it's over. Like, he's faced up and we can be mates again. But no, nah, I walked round the corner and there it was, the car, right on our doorstep. And then he looked at me and he dared me to. He said, go on, prove you ain't lost your bottle. Take the car for a spin at the industrial estate like we used to. And I thought, yeah, I could have all. You know, probably sort all this out. Because after all, that's all they want. He had the slide hammer on him and he gave it to me. But just walked away. There just didn't seem to be any point. So what did Hempstead do then? Well, I threw the slide hammer back at him and he carried on, you know, shouting and hollering. He said he was going to nick it anyway. You're going to have to make a statement, you know. Are you sure this is going to work? We'll get him, yeah. But with your statement, mine, you're doing the right thing. Tony? Yeah, that's him. 218 from 595. He's leaving the flat now, George. Received. OK, Tony, I've got him. We'll take this end.
He's glassed me up, hasn't he? Ooh. I knew he'd lost his bottle, but I didn't know he was a grass. You nicked that car, didn't you, and chucked the brick through the window? All right. If that's the way he wants it, I put my hands up. I was in the car. The Porsche? Yeah. But I wasn't alone. Who was with you? Nathan Wyatt. Martin's brother? Yeah. Funny, isn't it? He's lying. Am I? Look, uh, I'll stay here with Hempstead and Sam. You better go and pick up Nathan. Take George with you. We've got no choice, son. Come on, Luke. Well, go on then, Luke. You better get on with it. Oh. Did you get him then? He's Nathan in. Yeah, why? We need to. Uh, Can you just get him, please? Well, what's going on? Go on? Can we come in? Hello. Hoped I'd seen the last of you. This is why we have evidence that Nathan was in the stolen car. What? You're kidding. No, we're not. What is that? What Mick said? Right. I'm sorry. Nathan! Well, that's all we need, that is. Nathan! What? Come on, then. What's, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What? Just come on, then. Right. Were you in that car? All right, come on. You prat! What did I tell you, eh? What's he gonna get now? Look, he's only a kid, plus it's his first offence. And he was only a passenger. What, he's only gonna get a clip round the ear, isn't he? It's not that easy, is it, Nathan? I wasn't just a passenger. What? I nicked it. And I drove it. Oh, oh, I, I, pack it in! I, I said, pack, pack it in! It to I said, pack it in! Now, what happens? Mick Hempster come up to me, said, go on, here's your chance. Show us you're not like your brother. Show us you're not a coward. Oh, what, and you went along with it? At least I'm not a bottler. What? Now, that's what everyone says about you now. Cop out King. Martin's boss is a bottle. Yeah? Right, all right, right Luke, take his arm. Take his arm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You used to be something, yeah? But not anymore. That is the only reason we're getting all this aggro. Because they think we're cowards. All right, Nathan, and that's enough. If you're in the up. That's enough. Well, now what, eh? You're going to have to come down to Sun Hill as well, Mrs. Y. Oh, great. Nice one, mate. Thanks a lot, eh? Thanks a bunch. Get out. Get out. Go on, then. Move on. Gee. Uh.